Welcome back to another adventure with Getting Lost. We are now at part 3 of our Coney Island adventure. The final part, and where we will explore the rest of the island and a bit of the places after Coney Island. So join me after the intro as we explore the natural heritage of Singapore. <laughs> Coney Island and we are doing part 3 again part 3 of our adventure here at Coney Island and where are we going to? where else? we are on an island there's nothing there's nothing much to see here except for the beach so we're going to go to the beach itself which is but before that this interesting item something that you see commonly but Only in Coney Island, the dustbin is only for display. One of the natural birds in Singapore, or one of the one of the natural birds in Coney Island. Very noisy, the bird. Very, very noisy. And so, we are at Beach Area E, and we are going to drop off the trail to drop by this place just to have a look and see. And as per usual. Beware of sand flies. Many, many sand flies. The most common species of animal that you can find here and all around the island is. Can you, can you guess? The shed eye. They are everywhere, even on Coney Island. A secluded natural reserve island, you still find shed bikes. A very common species. And we are at the right moment here, during the evening time or early evening time, where the sun makes the scenery quite beautiful. And the island that is in front of us right now. Is a Pula Ubin, and you can also see some houses on Pula Ubin itself. That would be the Our Bound School. And let's just continue walking in the forest itself and let's see what we can find in the forest besides trees. And we are heading, we are almost reaching the end of our journey on Coney Island. In the distance there, all the houses I would think would be Changi Village or, or Pasir Ris. And that in front here is actually the jetty, the Lorong Halos jetty. Yep, the houses over there would be Pasir Ris, I guess. And then there's the dam. Which is the Serangoon Reservoir Dam. Right at the distance, you see the planes landing. That area there should be Changi Village. Or Changi. Anyway, here is the Serangoon Reservoir Dam. So that's where we're heading to because we'll need to. Uh, walk across the dam to escape Coney Island 
at the east entrance. Yes, we have finally reached here, the east entrance of Coney Island. We have walked from one end right away to the other end, and we have reached a very remote area. On our left here is seawater. In front of us is the dam, and on the right is fresh water. Part of the Pongol Serangoon uh, Reservoir with all the water, the fresh water. So in front of us would be the Pongol Promenade Nature Walk. And you can look at these rain clouds there. Let's just hope I'm not caught in the rain because the clouds look quite big. Anyway, let's cross the dam over here. And if you go further up, further up all the way there, you will reach Pasiris. And it will take a while for you to get out of here and look at the rain clouds I still got time so I don't have to really worry but we are going to walk along the Lorong Halos trail I guess you see some kind of like a nature walk but unfortunately this place here is just a walkway nothing much to see except the uh, river which is on your, on your right and Pongo nature walk up on that side there the bridge in the distance is actually part of the Pongo Promenade Riverside Walk as you can see people are actually cycling and walking along the trails what we are looking for is actually the Lorong Halus bridge which will be further up but before that we will actually reach Lorong Halus wetland center it's actually just a place where they are actually doing some experiments on wetland areas so they are actually cre recreating the wetland area uh, in this small little experimental area here and then we're going to hit that direction to reach the bridge which is a as you can see a popular hiking area And finally, we are at the Lorong Halos Bridge. It's a very iconic bridge that connects this part of the Lorong Halos wetland area to Pongo. And at the moment, that area right in front of us after the bridge has not been fully developed yet. But they are in the process of building it. But in the moment, Let's just enjoy the view from the bridge itself. The view will be quite interesting as you look up that way. In the distance, in the later, you can actually see Coney Island. And directly under us is actually Serangoon River. And the river flows down from that direction all the way down to Coney Island. So this area here is part of the Pongol Serangoon Reservoir with all the fresh water, look at that.
in the distance, you can actually see the the dam that we actually crossed over from Coney Island earlier. We have crossed the bridge and in front of us now is this place called Sunrise Gateway. It's a bridge that actually spans the river here and connects uh, one part of the uh, promenade to the other part of the promenade. At the moment, there's no HDB flats uh, yet, but as you can see, the place is actually uh, boarded up, fenced up, and very soon they'll be building it and people will be staying there. And those people who stay around here will get a fantastic view of the river. Really, really beautiful. I'm a bit jealous actually. But I guess I can still come all the way here to walk around here to have the view. And of course, this place is still remote enough that there's actually a monitor lizard in the undergrowth there. Anyway, let's not disturb the monitor lizard and let's continue walking down Pongo Promenade Riverside Walk which is just the walk that is will go down all the way and on my left would, is actually Serangoon River So what you can see ahead is actually a highway that is part of the TPE that is, will actually connect Serangoon to Tampines. The highway seems to be completed but not open yet. I think they just need to do a few more things before they can open up but it's almost done. Anyway, this is Sungai Serangoon or Serangoon River and we are now on the Sungai Serangoon Park Connector and we are still walking down and I bump into this area here which seems to have lots of open air restaurants that you can come here and dine a lot of barbecuing going on here which is quite interesting Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure where we actually explore Pongo, Coney Island and part of Sengkang or actually Sungai Serangoon and we have explored this area which is still quite natural which is part of Singapore's natural heritage and still not untouched but undisturbed anyway I hope you enjoyed it and you know what to do please like share and subscribe if you're not done so you don't have to but I would appreciate it if you do and the most important thing that you must do is to join me for my next adventure Bye-bye!